Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vault Hunters. In between episodes, I have been busy sorting out the inventories of all the chests and whatnot nearby, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things are sorted so far. This is a little bit of a temporary setup at the moment, but this village is actually pretty cool. I need villagers for a few things, and I think it's pretty safe with these iron golems, so... Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna save for a little bit. Now with that said, I want to immediately run another vault. Just, I, I just want to. I want to get into another vault. And this should be fairly easy to get. So I have half of the things. I need one Mars and eight kelp. Kelp should be... Uh, actually. That might be a little bit more tricky to get. There is actually something else that I do want to set up today, and that is some basic villagers. I do have four lecterns right here, and I want to basically get a bunch of librarians so I can get stuff like Unbreaking, Fortune, Silk Touch, things like that. But I think we'll do that after we have run our first vault. Right now, I need to worry about getting kelp as well as moss. Kelp has been sighted. Now my next objective is to get Mars. Is that coconut? Oh, I can eat these. Oh, that's sick. But I'm actually not going to, while I'm out exploring, I'm not going to sleep because I want to get attacked by phantoms. And that's because we can craft an elytra in Vault Hunters 1.18 right here. And it's actually pretty easy. We have pretty much everything but the phantom membrane. So I definitely want to get some of that. Well, we are in for a journey. I guess I'll see you there. This is all for one Mars, by the way. Well, actually two Mars, because as soon as we have one, we'll be able to make a Mars farm, which actually might be a really good idea to do. Not quite there yet, but I did want to show this biome. It actually looks really, really cool. It is called uh, Yellowstone, apparently. And we got all this magma blocks in here as well. So if we ever need that for uh, a crystal, will be, yeah, it'll be fairly easy to get. Turtles. Turtles, I need to set a bookmark. Turtles. This could become very useful in the... Oh, it places it where the... Oh. Okay, so when I press B, it's where my mouse currently is. Okay. That's good to know. But yeah, turtles could become very useful in the future. So definitely gonna mark those down. Look what I have found. Took quite a while to get here, but finally, we are now here. Oh, and it has its own locks now. Oh, that's cool. Anyway, uh, gonna dig straight down. This could be a very bad idea. Actually a horrible idea now that I think about it. A very horrible idea. I'm actually, I'm actually not gonna risk it. <laughs> as it could lead to a straight drop and my death. Finally, at long last, I had to dig like 50 blocks in order to get here. Just found a buried treasure here following this map. Let's see what we get. Ooh, okay, that's actually really good. We get a Heart of the Sea, Prismarine Crystals, bunch of emeralds, don't really need the sword. I will take the food though. But yeah, that, that was actually really worth it. Unfortunately, no diamonds. That is what I was hoping for most of all. But still, Heart of the Sea is really good. Now, it's time to finally head back home. Also, this will be the second night where I don't sleep, so hopefully next night or next night again, we're going to get phantoms, which means Elytra. Hopefully, anyway. All right, mission accomplished. Final vault crystal uh, ingredient complete, and our second vault crystal is about to be born. Boom, just like that. And I don't think we should waste any more time. Let's get right into a vault. However, I will bring my two golden apples here. I think I have enough food, but just in case I'm going to bring some extra bread. Uh, I'm actually gonna bring two stacks of a couple of deep slates just so I can go ahead and mark my way around easier. Now we are doing this in, a, in the rain. It is very wet and also very dark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly store the things that I know I will not need. Torches will be nice to have just in case. Water bucket for sure. Yep, I think that we're ready to do this. Three, two, one, let's go. That was a fail. <laughs> All right, and of course we still have beginner's grace. We have 25 minutes. Let's make the most of it. We have the bundle and shulker box. 
Let's go. And this time around, we have dash and heal as well, which I definitely should remember to use. Actually, what I can go ahead and do in keybinds, I can go ahead and do what I did in the last Vault Hunters, keybind dash to a specific key so that I can use it way easier just like that. Oh, okay. We're straight into it. I'm pretty sure this was a sizzle spawner. Yep. For now, I'm just going to take everything because I have the shulker box. I can easier afford it. Can I do this? I can indeed. Haha. -ha. Ooh, gilded chests. Ooh, yes. Goodies. Very nice goodies. Ah! That was a quick and, in my opinion, really good water clutch. All right, gilded chests. I should probably go ahead and put a bunch of this stuff in <laughs> the shocker box here. Nice, nice, nice. I wonder actually. Oh dear me. Okay, that doesn't work. Dashing midair and then landing still gives you full damage. Oh, and I also only just need two monoliths, which I don't know what they do. They're not the obelisks from. Uh, previous Vault Hunters. Oh no. Nope, that's a cactus. That's a cactus. Phew. I don't know exactly what they do. I guess there's only one way to find out. Ooh, yes. Skill essence and everything. Can I please? Please. Please. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we got ores. Some ores anyway. Ooh, ancient debris. Yes, I will grab this. Oh wow, it takes ages to mine. Please mine faster. And this as well. And I got something. Alright, let's see. Is this a fizzle one? It is. Good. And it's just a bunch of husks. Very easy to defeat. However, my inventory is getting more and more full. And I didn't note where I came from. Um, think it's this way? No, it is not. This is definitely not where I came from. Alright, but I definitely... Need to go this way, because that could be a really, really good room. Okay. Do this. Wait for it. Oh, it's a really, really good room, and I have inventory space issues. This is not good. <laughs> Look at this. So many ornate chests. Uh, okay, I'm going to have to prioritize here for things that is going to be more important oh wow there's so many there is a lot here i do need to remember i do have the bundle that i can use for some of these singular items that are just taking up a lot of inventory space this room looks uh, <laughs> this room looks sick by the way all right heading back up all right let's move on Oh, another locked door. We need a key for that, which we do not have. Ooh, ores. Valuable ores. Please die. Both of you. That's Laramar. Yes, Laramar gem. Oh, that. Nope. No, 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 no. That's not how we play this. Run in. Grab. Good. Grab. Go away. Oh, that's a bit of a pickle. All right, so this is the end. So what I might go ahead and do is run back to the main portal, or the first portal, uh, not the portal room, the portal right after the portal room, the, the room right after the portal room, oh my. And then visit the rooms to the right and to the left of the portal. All right, we're gonna head right here, I think. Could be cool if I could find both the monoliths and then find out what happens when they get taken. Is this another Omega room or something? I think this is another really, really good room right here. Just gotta get rid of all the sump of fight things. Oh, and spiders. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Yo, that, that spider was tiny. What we got? Oh, whoa. Okay, a lot of spawners. A lot of spawners. That, that's, hmm. That's very clear to me at this point in time. Uh, wow. This room is dangerous. What we got here? Anything? I guess I have time to check these boxes. I don't know if any of the stuff that is in the in the center there is anything worthwhile. But I don't think it's gonna be worthwhile with all this stuff going on, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna run past it. 
I might be missing a huge opportunity right there, but man, that's a lot of spawners. Not something I'm interested in at the moment. Oh, I see a different border. Oh no, another one. Another one. Another one. Uh-oh. 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 Heal, 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 heal. Run around, run around, run around. And this is the end. This is the end as well. I don't know if anything in the middle there is worth going for. You guys will have to let me know down below in the comments. Oh no. Oh no. This is pro this is problematic. This is problematic. Problematic. And all the spiders from the other room is coming. Okay. This is a problem. Actually, it might not be. If I just loop around over here. And then do this. Oh yeah. I think that worked. All right. Left wing it is. That was a trap chest. Yeah. Whoa. Okay. These guys can be very, very fast. I'm struggling for building blocks. However, I'm happy that I'm getting these scaffoldings. Mm -hmm. The dash really works very well at level one. That pleases me. Got some stuff. Ooh, more guilty chests. Unfortunately, not Thistle Spawner. So we'll have to be efficient here. Ooh, that's a lot of good stuff. What can I throw away? You know what? Die right, it's fine. More Gilded Chests. Very nice. Okay. This. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. 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 I really do want the coins. I really, really do want a bunch of the coins, but my pickaxe does not have efficiency. Which does not make this task any easier. I'll just mine as much as I can. Oh, that's about it then. And... Ooh. Had I been a little bit too greedy there, that could have ended me. <laughs> that could have been over. Alright, three minutes left. I think that is good. I need to find a way down. Okay, I'm actually already back. However, have I... Oh, yeah, left over, left over spider. Please go away. I don't... Have I found cactus yet? Just in case, I will grab cactus. On these episodes, we will have to do a bunch of farm making. Maybe I'll stream it. That could be something that I could do. Make sure you're subscribed and have notifications turned down uh, so you don't miss that if I do do that. Because <laughs> if I do it, it'll be here on the channel. All right, I'd say this is pretty successful. Time to head back home. And there we go, survived the vault level 2. We got 2215 XP, almost close, almost enough to get us to level 3. Combat, mobs unalived, 83. Pretty cool. 47 chests looted in total, 9 gilded. Wow, 16 on 8. Wow. Okay then. And it is daytime, so we just need one more night time to arrive, and then hopefully we'll be able to get Phantom Membrane so we can get an Elytra. The Elytra is mainly going to be used by me so I can run, fly around and eat. That's a zombie villager. Oh dear, they ate a zombie villager. Iron Golem, you're supposed to... Uh, it's fine, I have plenty of villagers, we can repopulate the city. <laughs> Well, it's time for me to sort the loot. Well, this is our loot right here. Not too bad. I do want to open these, though. Nothing out of that. We also have... I think we have... Yep, yeah, one mystery box just. Gold ingots. You know what? I'll take it. Um, but yeah, that is... Actually, it's a pretty good loot. We also have the stuff in there. So overall, not too bad. And I didn't even use my golden apples because of the healing uh, ability, which is absolutely... It was amazing to have that, honestly. All right, all of the little items has been removed, so now we can just add all of this stuff right here to this chest. And I can empty the bu bundle again. And I, ju I just go through and remove all the vanilla items. And then I can, after that, go ahead and put only the Vault Hunter stuff into its own chest. Seven diamonds. Okay, that's good. We can get full diamond armor as well as a new diamond pickaxe. I think we will be upgrading tools in just a little bit. All right, so this is all of our vault items as of right now. However, except for the diamond nuggets, we can combine those to get normal diamonds. So these really should be going in there. Now, when it comes to knowledge stars, we still need eight of the knowledge shards. However, we already have 14 knowledge essence, which is, yeah, it's basically been made easier or faster to get knowledge essence uh, from my understanding. So that is really cool. I think it's time to set up some villagers. 
And I believe I have everything that I need and want to have in order to do it. I have the lecterns here and I have all the villages in my chest. So the question is really, where do I do it and how do I do it? And honestly, it's pretty simple. Just want to put some of these stairs away, I think. Add some of this stuff in between, maybe change it up a little bit. All right, it is going to be a little bit tight, especially over here, but I think we'll be all right. So this can be the librarian section, I suppose. And we can just, we could actually go ahead and make this look a little bit nicer, I suppose. Reusing the stairs here. I don't know if I really like that idea. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. I'll, I'll work on it. I'll work on it. For now, though, we can go ahead and take some uh, villagers. We place you in there. You will become a librarian and we can cycle the trade so I can do this until I get, uh, for example, on breaking three. Which this is possibly going to take a little bit. So what I can do in options, control, keybinds, and I can go to si si cycle. Cycle trades, I can put that to something that I don't already use. I guess R works for now. And I can just go ahead and hit R. Feather falling three will be really nice. So I think I'm actually going to have to lock that in. I need to get all my emeralds and my books as well, of which I only have 29. Uh, I'm gonna need some farmer villagers as well. I need some composters. There is one thing that I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to make a little bit of a burger here, a very small one. Hoping it's gonna get me to, yep, level three, because then I can go in here and I can equip Vein miner. That is just going to make it a lot easier to collect basic basic things like wood and stuff like that from some of these like bigger trees. It's just, yeah, it's just gonna make it a whole lot easier, just like this, because it just takes a lot more of the wood as well as the surrounding leaves. Yeah, it, it's it's nice. All right, gonna place down some composters. Get rid of that candle. We can get another villager in here and you should become a farmer. So you take potatoes, you take wheat. I actually like that because wheat is easy to get. We're gonna get another farmer in here. Choose your job. There we go, see, that was easy. Carrots and potatoes, that's actually really good. Now, I just need a farm for it. There is actually another type of villager that we can very easily get. And that is a Fletcher because they sell or receive or take sticks. Oh, but now it turns, it turns night time and then they won't take that job. Oh, well, I guess I can still work with this. Feather only four, I will take it. Now I can, while it's night time, work on the next librarian. Now mine, I forgot. They don't take jobs. I had literally just said they don't take jobs. Do you have anything useful? No, I have made progress. So I finally found a villager that is selling on breaking three, 31 diamonds, a little bit expensive, but I took it, this one right here. And then there's this one is selling a silk touch book for only six emeralds. I obviously had to take that offer. And the way I have been getting emeralds is through this guy right here, just selling him sticks. And that has given me a lot of emeralds. However, now he has raised the amount of sticks that he wants because I think, I think he has gotten, Way more sticks than he'll ever need in his lifetime. But yeah, that is going to be what I'm going to do now. I need four, actually, uh, six. I need six Unbreaking Three books, and then I need the Silk Touch for my pickaxe, of course. Ladies and gentlemen, we got phantoms, two of them. Question is, will I be able to take them out before they burn? Well, actually, if they, even if they burn, it's fine with me, because I will still hopefully get their droppings. But yeah, this could be tricky. I need to time this perfectly. I'm also out of food, which is a bit worrying. Yeah, that's right. You run. Uh, yeah, yeah I, might, I might die from this. <laughs> All right. That's one down. No phantom membrane, unfortunately. Shot that one. The crossbow is definitely making this easier. Oh, no. It's burning. Come on. Get to... Oh. Get closer. It might just die from, from burning. Yep, and I need to... Whoa! Yeah, it died. And no phantom membrane, unfortunately. Oh, well. I guess I'll just have to wait another night. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I have done it. We now have all the books that we require. That is four unbreaking books for all of our armor, which we're going to turn into leather, right? A Feather Falling 3 book. Unfortunately, I forgot that there's something called Feather Falling 4. But you know what? 3 is fine. I can always get a third book and then put it on and then we'll have Feather Falling 4. Another Unbreaking 3, Mending and Looting 3 for my Netherite Axe, and an Unbreaking 3 and Silk Touch for my Pig Axe. However, I am still missing efficiency, but you have no idea how long it has taken to get all the sticks required to these fellas right here, in order to get all the emeralds required. So I'll probably do that in between episodes, between this one and the next. For now, I think it is time that we do some upgrading. Right after I lower this one all the way down. Ah, silence. Anyway, if we take our two netherite ingots and netherite scrap, we have a few choices to make. Do I upgrade all of our armor to full netherite or do I upgrade the axe? I think I'm going to do the armor. We have 15 diamonds right here. So that is going to work wonders because we can then get a diamond helmet and some diamond boots and our current Diamond armor is in pretty good shape, so I'm not going to worry about the durability on those. All I need now is a smithing table, just like so. We can place that right there. Go ahead and upgrade all of this. What does this mean? Oh, it, 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 if there's multiple possibilities, we can see the different possibilities up here in the, for the recipe. There we go. Full netherite armor. Really, really good. Now you may be wondering, aren't you forgetting protection? No, because in these vaults in Vault Hunters 1.18, enchantments like fire protection, uh, ex ex explodey protection, no, blast protection and normal protection doesn't actually have an effect, at least from my understanding. So really unbreaking and mending is all that we need for our armor at this point in time. So let's just go ahead and upgrade all of it. There we go. Oh yeah. This is awesome. Of course, I cannot forget to add feather falling onto my boots, just like so, which is going to help reduce fall damage. Now, I do have these books for my axe. However, we do not have enough netherite to convert the axe to a netherite axe. So I don't think... Actually, I can add the enchantments. I'm just going to go ahead and make a brand new axe really quickly. My objective is to get this axe to netherite as soon as possible. So if I just get unbreaking and mending on it, oops, then it really shouldn't uh, be too bad. Oh, I can't have Ludi 3 on the diamond axe. Ooh, okay, that, that's very good to know. I'm running low on diamonds, but I'm going to use our final three diamonds here to make a brand new Silk Touch pickaxe, which I really should try and get mending on as well. I'll get the last ret enchantments required off camera because, again, it's been a grind. Oh yeah, I also need a sharpness uh, enchantment for the axe. I don't know if you can really see, but um, the forest has been... <laughs> There used to be forest like over there, completely covering this area. You can see I've planted some saplings over there as well. I, I basically... Whoa! Hello, fella. Nice to meet you. Not. I basically chopped down a lot of trees. Oh, yeah. 1,100 oak, lo oak logs has been chopped. And I also chopped birch, so that... That might give you a little bit of an idea. In, uh, while I was doing that, I also set up a potato farm as well as a wheat farm because that is going to be really beneficial, mainly for my food situation. And also when I get to worker so I can get emeralds easily without having to chop down an entire forest. Now for the next big upgrade. I got two phantom membrane, which means we can now go ahead and craft ourselves an elytra. We need four magic silk, a single string, a bit of vault essence and two phantom membrane, all of which we have right here in our chest and the string over here, meaning we should be able to just go ahead and boom, sky's the limit. Now, if we combine the elytra together with dash, oh yeah, traversing the overworld just got a whole lot easier. This is not going to be very useful in the vaults, but when gathering resources that I don't have around me, this is going to be huge. But I think with all the enchantments done, let's run another vault. 
And I have already gathered all the things required, obsidian, sugarcane, copper, and the cobblestone are right there. So we can just jump straight into it. I think this is everything we need. Let's get to it. All right, here we are. Time to go looting with our brand new gear. And I am immediately greeted with... Hello. Uh, ambush or what? I really hope I get a bunch of extra netherite because that means I could then upgrade my axe. I see some living chests down here. Unfortunately, it is not a fizzle spawner. I definitely also need to get mending on my armor, but for now, this works. Ooh, eight knowledge essence. Okay, 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 okay. You're fast. A little bit too fast. Ooh, Benyotite. Nice. Oh yeah, and I can now grab all the ores instead of having to hope for an ore drop. Oh, that chest down here. Honestly, I would have not known that had the creeper not blown that up. I really do want the engine to breathe, though. I should have really added efficiency on this thing. To be fair, I was out of villages. Or free villages, I should say. Come on. Thank you. Oh. Nah. Oh, no. I forgot my... Uh, I definitely forgot my shulker, shulker box. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. I just have to make do. All right, moving on to the next room. Ooh, an ornate chest up there, and a bunch of other chests over there. Okay. More netherite scrap right there. We got two. That means we can actually upgrade our axe today. Okay. Can I... Oh, wow. There's a lot of stuff down there. Can I LMG this? I could. I did it. Even though it was out of shrub, I still did it. Haha. Is that a zombie out of chicken? Huh. I'll free you, chicken. Chicken, you're free. One thing I'm definitely noticing with Vault Hunters 118 when in the vaults, I'm spending a lot more time. Whoa, hello. I'm spending a lot more time like exploring every room to see if there's anything important that I've missed. Ooh, what do we have here? This seems like, yep, this is a special room. Oh, the paint room. Okay. Up. Oh. Ow. I don't know if there's gonna be anything. Oh. Oh, there is stuff in here. Oh, wow. Potion of healing. Uh, don't think I'm gonna take them, though. Doing pretty good, I think, with my healing ability. Even though I probably should change it to a... Ooh, Gilda chest. Oh, wow. Okay, I love this room. <laughs> like I was saying, I should probably change my healing ability into something that can get rid of poison. Ooh, another shell shell. Huge. I wonder if there's anything of that. Yes, there is stuff of value in here. Definitely. Oh, wow, Iscalium. No way. <laughs> Iscalium. We got Iscalium, ladies and gentlemen. Ornate chests. Let's go. Okay, I think... Oh, there's these two. And then I think I have pretty much looted this entire room. Yep, or Fermar and Benutite. Ooh, and more Benutite. We're getting a lot of Vault Ores actually in this particular room. This is awesome. So as long as I don't die going home, this is turning out really well. Okay, uh, still 10 minutes remaining. I wonder if there's anything like below. Down here. Oh, there is a lot of coins actually. And this room is completely safe. Is that something new? Omega rooms or like these special rooms, are they always safe? They might be. They can still be trapped, obviously, but I think they might always be safe. I believe Iskel might have said that. I'm not 100% sure, though. Nice little boost of co Oh, there's even more paint things here. Gilded chests. Let's go. I can't have any of this in my inventory. All right. I think finally this room has been completely... Looted. Okay, four and a half minutes remaining. I think I can loot maybe a room or two. I just want to see if I'm... I don't want to spiss a Omega room if there is one. So I kind of just want to scout out a little bit. Ooh, there's some diamond ores there. Actually, two minutes remaining. I'm not going to risk it just in case I fall or something. Time to head home. 
All right, time to head home with one minute and 40 seconds remaining. Not a bad vault run. And here we go. We got 3,155 XP, almost enough to level us up to level four. We might be able to make some burgers for that. 56 chests looted in total, four gilded, four on eight, six living. Not too bad. I'll claim that for sure. Oh, it's raining. Well, let's get indoors. Do I need anything for this? I technically do, but let's just leave it there. I have missed you. And well, this is our loot. And what I can go ahead and do right away is upgrade our axe from a diamond one to a mending, uh, mending axe right here. Upgrade complete. We have full netherite, netherite weaponry, and we also have our elytra right here. Very, very cool. And we got a bunch of ores from this vault as well. I see some ores in the bundle. All right, all the loot has been sorted. Extra shulker box has been crafted. I should probably point this in the right direction. There we go. And this so far is all of the stuff that we have gotten from vaults. We of course have these two relic booster packs, which we quickly should run. Oh, nothing. Um, we have 35 knowledge essence in total. We are getting close to be able to make our very first knowledge star. But what I do want to go ahead and do is get our burger patties, our burger cheese, and our burger buns. And if we go ahead and go make two double cheeseburgers, I think that is going to get us to level four. Oh yeah, one on spent skill point. And I'm going to use this on twerker because the level one uh, farmer targets seeds, potatoes, carrots, beetroot, flax seeds. And yeah, I want this so I can get Emeralds a lot easier and it appears that we can upgrade this uh, or the specialization so we can get cultivator which targets melons and pumpkins We can get gardener which targets cactus sugarcane and nether ward and we can get this one Which changes the farmer to instead? Uh, is, are these instead? Uh, no, these these two right here doesn't seem to be instead But this one changed it to instead work on baby animals to become big that's interesting. And I think because these two are very easily farmable, I think I'm going to choose a specialization for Gardener. Because sugarcane, cactus, yeah, that's gonna be a pain if I all of a sudden get that in the altar. So we're doing pretty good for levels right now. But guys, with that, I'm going to call this an episode. I think in between episodes, I'm going to working be working on more enchantments, like getting mending on the armor, sharpness on the axe, maybe get another diamond pickaxe, stuff like that. But like I said, that's gonna be it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode. And I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day and goodbye. <laughs>